Okay, continuing part two. Uh, before we went through, I'm going to call this one, I'm going to call this two. We went through path one, path two we went through, look at the previous video, and now we're going to go with three. So I labeled them one, the green, two is the blue, three is the red. Now, <clears throat> again, this is going from here, number 48 fuse, rated at 30 amps. What color wire? White. Coming to this point, this point is a splice. That means we have an option. We could go here, or we could go here. Since I want to do this one first, we're going to proceed in this direction. So follow the blue uh, arrows. We're going to come down here to another splice. You can't see it because I used the, um, the dark, the, 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 the blue. I think it was too dark. Anyway, this is a white one, and this is a white wire over here. We come over here, and just like we talked about before, we went into explain, uh, explanation, this is a switch, and all of this is contained in a switch unit. One, two, three, four. Four switches in this unit, and this one also. Usually in the olden, olden days, it was very simple. We only had one switch, put it in park lamps or, or uh, high beam, and that's it. No, today is much more difficult. We have modules and computer modules. So let's continue again in this one. We said when I labeled one, two, three, we said when we labeled this one, one, there is no connection. So I can't go this way. Remember something. Current is flowing. Voltage does not flow. Voltage is a potential and a pressure to push current, to push the electron flow. It's like you have water in a pipe. You open the valve, the pressure increases, you can have more water go through it. So this is called electromotive force. It is a force to voltage. It pushes the current. But voltage doesn't flow from here to here. Only current flows. So current, that's why I always use current. Current is flowing through the white through this to this terminal of, I labeled it S1. We have a choice. We could go two or we could go terminal three. Either one, they're both connected to the same point. So if I toggle this one from position one to position two, or I go from toggle one to position three, either way, I'm still going to the same point. We went from a white wire to what color is this now? red with a green stripe so now we're coming over here now we have again a splice i call it actually a node from engineering but they call it a splice in automotive it doesn't really matter it just means we have a, um, a, a bunch of connections to go to uh, so you have a path here and you have a path here notice one thing over here always pay attention to the ratings of of, of fuses this is a symbol for a fuse obviously that we're going to talk about Number 30 over here is 7.5 amps. Number 32 is also 7.5 amps. That means, number one, before I even get to that point, this triangle over here, and this triangle over here means there's a continuation of this part of this schematic, which is going here. There's another part to it. The reason why they didn't uh, extend it or put all of the other parts because they didn't have room. It would be too crowded and it would be too difficult to print it like that. So for, I guess, ease of easier understanding, we put a triangle. And you'll see this all over. All over in the dealership books that I had that I showed you. Um, this is C and this is C. That means you find a triangle that has C on it. That's where it's continued from here. If this will be B, this will be B. You will look for a triangle that says B on it. In the other schematic, probably on a different page, obviously. Okay? So this is going to a different page, basically. It's going to... It tells you where it's going to. Parking lights. This is going to parking lights, tail lights, and this is going to dash lights and all these things. But they have the same rating, fuses-wise. Okay? That usually means sometimes they have resistance equal. Sometimes. But not a general rule, but sometimes. So this is going to what color wire? Red. And black stripe and this is also red black stripe so we did this one also so we did we did one two and three we did let's go over here this is the tough one over here okay this is the tough one this needs some uh, concentration let's go again to this one again what number fuse 48 rated a what 30 amps what color wire white what color wire here 
white. Remember in the first one that I told you, we had terminals over here, connections. They had no pin numbers. Look at this. See pin numbers, terminals, B4, B1, B2, B6. That's because all of this is in a unit. Okay, B5, B3, B6, and B2. So that means that this one, before I move on to the next one, the one that we just did, and let me go over that one, the white wire went to terminal B2. Then it went to the switch. I called it S1 to make it easier. And then it came out either 2 or 3, whatever this is, toggle 2. It came out B1. It went in B2, came out B1 to a, a red and green wire. Let's go over here. It goes into B6. Let's go this direction. Now, which position does this have to be toggled in to make a connection? Think about it. Would it be 1? No, there's no connection. Would it be 2? No. Would it be 3? If, if you said 3, you're correct. This is the only one that has a connection to it. So we go here into S2, which I called it. Go over here. We come out to our red wire. There's no connection here. So we can't go down here. There's no connection here. We can't go down here. There's no connect. There's no black dot here. We can't go into this. So we're going straight again, right into him. I said I would talk about the voltages later to this, but this is getting voltage from three different points. Observe. One is going, one voltage is coming from here. This one, 12 volts. 12 volts here, we'll go over a little later, 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, to the pink one, 12 volts. This one, coming from a different fuse, but that's okay. This one, through a different terminal, that's okay. Going through another fuse, that's okay, going 12 volts. And this one also, 12 volts. Look at them. This is getting three 12 volt sources from here. Why? You'll have many modules of computers, like I have been doing so many uh, diagrams, that they need more than one 12 volts because you know why? There might, might be multiple, multiple circuits in these board that you see. All you see over here is a, is a symbol of a board, a control unit, uh, or a PCM. But what's in there is a different story. The circuitry might involve one or two or even three, in this case, three different 12 volt sources. And how do you know? Because something says ignition. ING means ignition, that means it's 12 volts. Let's go further to this one. So we went, we did this path. Hopefully it's, hopefully you understand it. If you've been following my channel, this should be a little more easier than, than a year ago when I posted it, hopefully. And uh, like I said, I don't expect people to understand 100%. I don't expect that. If you know, if you just say, you know what? I understand how a relay works. I understand how a switch works. That's an accomplishment. That's improvement. That's that's the purpose of the channel. So we go over here now. Let's go this way over here. Okay? We did this one over here. But still, we didn't take care of this one over here. And we didn't take care of this one. So let's pull out a little so you can see what this is what this is actually connected to. We have the bulbs. A high beam bulb. Uh, a high beam bulb. Let's say this is right or this is left. We have a low beam bulb, and it even, even gives you its rating. It's a watt rating. This is the power rating for the bulb, 60 watts or 55 watts. This is just, it never appears on any schematic. It doesn't tell you the wattage. This is just, like I said, an exercise. But you see this little loop? That means it's a bulb, a bulb, a bulb. See the little loop over here? A bulb. It usually has a circle around it, a bulb in a circle to tell you it's, a, it's a, like this one. See this one? Oh, that's a good example. This one means it's a bulb. And inside is the filament. So anyway, low beam, low beam, right and left. And this is high beam, left and right. And this is what we're dealing with. And this is the indicator to tell you when you, when you put on a high beam, that's when this lights, the indicator. That's just the indicator. So let's go down the paths. Now that we, uh, I usually before you go to schematic to follow it, like I said before, look for look for main components. What's the main component that sticks out in your mind right away? You always look for something that's unusual that you don't see all the time. You know what? I, bulbs. That's that gets my attention. This gets my attention right away. 
right? It's, it's a unit. It's a control unit. You don't see it on every single page, right? And this, the combination. Whatever, wherever you see a rectangle like this, it should catch your attention, okay? Wherever you see a rectangle like this, it should catch your attention. Now, this... I didn't mention, but this is also rectangle. Also, dash fuse relay box. This is actually the same box as this. And usually they have a dotted line to mean that there's another part of it somewhere else on a, uh, on a different part of it. This is a, uh, what do you call it? A solid line, solid line. So this is this. This is part of this. As this. So, like I said, you browse around first. You look what you're looking for. If I'm looking for, let's say, my... Uh, High beams are out. Two lights are out. Where I, the, what do I concentrate on? Looking for the, the bulbs having to do with high beam. Does this, is this a bulb? It's not a symbol for, for a bulb. Is this a symbol for a bulb? No. I come over here. Wait a second. This is a symbol for bulbs. Now I go high beam here, high beam here. Then I trace it back. That's how you do it. But right now, we're just trying to understand how to follow a schematic. Let's go. Let's go. Start over here. These were all toggled together. If you looked at the previous video, we go over now. In order to have a, a connection over here, what position does S3 have to be in? If you said position one, you're wrong. If you said position two, you're wrong. If you said position three, guess what? You're right. Position three has this because this is high beam. Actually, for low beam and high beam. When you want headlight, headlights on, in this one, you're off. Sometimes you have the parking lights on. Sometimes you have the headlights on. In this one, it gives you the option. See this high beam thing? It, low beam, the regular one, or high beam over here. The, depends which one you want. We're going we're gonna to select it by the switch. So let's first go the regular path. Okay, let's go back here. What fuse are we dealing with? Number what? 48. How many amps? 30 amps. What color wire? White. What color wire? White. What terminal? B6. What light switch? Combination light switch. We come over here. What's this called? A splice. We come over here. We come over here. Over here. What switch? S3. What terminal? three continue over here what's this called dimmer now let's continue over here we're on which one the low one s4 is now on the low beam we come over here what color wire we come out what terminal b3 into red and white you see i, I put over here low that means we're going to the low beam the green follow the green low 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 there are two paths what fuses? Number 22. What fuse for this one? Number 21. We come over here, and here we are the low beam, and here we are with the low beam. That's if this is in this, see this? In this position. So, uh, color wires, red, white. This one, red, yellow. This one, red and yellow. Okay? And, of course, to a black, white, to ground. Let's go to the other one. We choose the high beam. High beam goes over here. We go over here. Do we go up here? No, we don't go back up here. We go here. We continue this way to down. I put over here high. We come out of this switch. Which terminal do we come out? B5. What color wire are we? Red, a blue stripe. We come over here to what? And what is this symbol? A fuse. What number? What's the rating? Number 5 fuse and 10 amp fuse. The reason I ask questions is that makes the viewer think. I can just go through the motion and say, well, this does that. It doesn't make the viewer think. So I put over here high, high, high. Red and green. This was red and blue. Now we change to what? Remember I told you, be careful. When you go through one side of a component and you come out the other side, it's going to be different uh, wires. It should be. So we go over here. We go over here. We have we have over here. As you see over here, we have a path over here also for this high beam indicator to go on, which is red and green over here, as you can see. But at the same time, we over here follow the yellow now. We have we go through this one, through high beam this one. 
We come back up here. Let me go out so it'll be easier. We go here, follow this one. What fuse? Number four. We were at number five. Now number four, 10 amps, red blue wire, red blue wire, and to our high beam. So this was, let's say, right side, this was left side. Okay? Here and here. We go through a lot of fuses, but there are not so many fuses in regular schematics. It's just an exercise, but that's too many fuses. But anyway, that's how it works. Now we see this little thing. What do you think this is connected to this one? This is like a daytime running lights uh, resistor. It's a, a sensor, a photo resistor, where um, it detects light. Whatever it detects light, it means... You don't need the lights on. But let's say you come into a tunnel, even though it's still daytime, you do need the lights on, even though it's daytime because it's, it's dark in the tunnel. The, this will tell you it's dark, and then you know it knows to put on the control unit. That's that. Okay, now the next video, I'm going to go over the voltages. So it'll be part three. I hope everybody's following, and I hope it's a little easier than it was previously than when we started. But my channel is Joe, Electronic Schematics for Auto. The other one is Automotive Electronic Schematics for, uh, by Joseph.